Ray Brown said, is Albert interested in racing outdoors? Yeah. Good question. Which is surprising to well, me. Ray. Yeah, not the full outdoor series, no way. But I think that once uh, Moto Academy has our community and we're up, just up and running, and I'm the, the plan is like when we have a community, I'm going to be like the principal. You know, I'm going to walk, I'm going to like just oversee everything and kind of be a part of everything, ride with everyone. Um, so my plan is to just basically ride a lot with every group that's there so I can work with every instructor that's there, add in little helpful tidbits and train people when I need to and I see if somebody's really struggling one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm going to be riding every day, right? I haven't done that ever, really. When I trained with Jet and Hunter, I rode a ton. I trained, I had focused training, but it was for a very short period of time. If I can start doing that every day, basically, for the foreseeable future, years, I'm going to get really really fast and really in shape and i'm gonna want to race yeah i guess i'm just surprised outdoors outdoors yeah, seems outdoors so is, unappealing to me it's fun really yeah but you're going way faster so it's a lot more dangerous yeah, but there's right? tracks that you can pick that don't feel fast do you like the one in maryland what's that one yeah again what's buds creek buds creek yeah. buds creek feels slow because it's technical um all the tracks that i like don't feel fast mm. Yeah. Good question. Wouldn't want to do the whole series. No way. But picking certain tracks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.